Hey guys, Ryan here with Tonic Site Shop, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you everything that you need to know about Flowdesk and show it while getting started on building your list. So we're gonna be covering how to create a form in Flowdesk and how to set that up with all the different options that Flowdesk has, how to embed the form onto your show it website, and then finally, we're gonna look at how you can actually automatically send a freebie or welcome newsletter to your subscribers when they opt in. So let's get started. All right, so our first step is going to be to find where we wanna add our opt-in form. I'm gonna be using the margarita template here as an example. If we scroll down on the home page, we'll actually see an area for a freebie. Steal my launch playbook. So we're gonna use this as an example. So let's jump into this canvas and we'll get started. First thing that we need to do is just understand that this form here is kind of like a dummy form. Now it will actually send you an email with someone's first name and email when they click these uh, or when they fill this form out, but it won't automatically connect to your Flowdesk account. So we need to replace this form with an actual embed. So let's jump over to Flowdesk and see how we set up a form. All right, so inside of Flowdesk, you're gonna have a little navigation up at the top. Go ahead and click on Forms, and this is where we're going to be able to create a new form. If we hit New Form, uh, Flowdesk is going to ask us what type of form we want to create. Uh, when you're adding it to your show at website, it's best if you use an inline form. Now I'll tell you that the Ribbon Banner one, um, which is a horizontal form, and then the uh, inline without image one are my favorite for show it and this is because they're simple forms that you can customize the color of the button and the font and everything but you can actually remove the you know the join our mailing list text and all that because that is already designed inside of show it so all we need is a form so by using the inline without image one we can grab just the form and there's no image or anything that we have to remove. And the same with the ribbon banner one, it's just the form we can remove the text. So for this example, we have a horizontal form. So we're gonna wanna use ribbon banner one, which is just a standard horizontal form. So let's do that and we'll click customize it. Now we need to choose a segment for our form. Now segments are basically just a way to group subscribers and tag them with, hey, this subscriber has opted into this or they're just a general newsletter subscriber. So with this one, because this is an opt-in for an actual freebie, uh, we're gonna name this Launch Playbook. So you can see I already have one in here. If you don't have yours already, just type it out and click Create um, and then whatever your title is. But we want Launch Playbook because we wanna tag everyone that opts in to this Launch Playbook freebie as Launch Playbook. So we'll hit save. And now we're ready to stylize our form. So the first thing that we wanna do is remove all of the text because like I mentioned in Show It, we already have um, our heading and a little description box here. So we just need the form. So let's jump back over to do that. We just have to select the text and then hit delete. And then the same here. And it's actually gonna completely remove those boxes so we don't have them. The next step is to remove the background. Again, because we have a background color in show it, we want to use that background color. We don't wanna have to try to match this background here. So let's just get rid of it. And the way we do that is we set the canvas and background color to transparent. The transparent color is just this red slash. So if you select that, there's not gonna be any color applied at all. Perfect. The next thing is just to match the form fields with the form um, on our show it site. Uh, or you could customize it how you'd like. This form just has first name and email and then a download button. So we're gonna try to match that and we're gonna get rid of last name. So let's go ahead and click on last name. You'll see here it says edit field. We can just click these three little dots and then click on delete. And now we just have first name and email address. 
So the next thing is let's try to get the form field backgrounds correct. So you'll notice this form currently, the form fields have a really light gray border, but we want it to be a solid color. So let's head over to show it and we're gonna select this rectangle. And over here under shape style, we just wanna copy this color hex code. So let's go ahead and copy that. Go back to Flowdesk and then select this field and then under style, you'll see that there's a few different field styles. So um, these are solid colors and then these are borders. So we wanna select the solid color and then the fill color is going to be that color that we just copied from Show It. So let's paste that in there. And then we can do the same with the border. Just like that. The next thing is let's grab the button color. So let's select the rectangle behind um, this text box and show it. And then we're just going to copy this code as well. Click on the subscribe button in Flowdesk and then change the fill color. So let's paste that and then change the border color as well. Um, technically on the border color for the fields and the button, you can select uh, transparent for border um, and it just will remove the border uh, but the border is so thin that um, if you have a color there anyways it's not going to make a difference so we'll just leave it like that perfect so now we need to work on fonts now your template may use different fonts than what Flowdesk offers but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find a font family that's very similar to the one that is inside of your template so let's go ahead and try to match the font fields first. So first name and email. So if we click on the field and then click on font, we'll be able to select some fonts here. Now I went through these already and I noticed at the very end there's some monospace fonts and I think that the Lucidia font uh, seems right. Um, and so we're gonna use this font. It's a little bit dark and so we're gonna lighten that up as well. Um, so you can actually select the color which is just three, 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 three over here. Put that in. So it kind of lightens it up. And if you wanted, I mean, you can even go a little bit lighter. Um, and that is, in this case, that's just because this font is a little bit thicker um, than the font that we have in here. So it comes off lighter over here than it does in the form. So I'm just gonna leave it with this font uh, and color here. Now let's work on the uh, subscribe button here. Inside Show It, you'll actually notice that the button says download, not subscribe. So let's go ahead and change that first. So we'll just double click inside. It'll highlight the word subscribe. And we're just going to write download. Now let's try to match it. So let's hit font. We want all caps selected. And we also want the color to be black. Click on spacing, there's a few different options here. For letter spacing, we wanna drag this up a little bit. And then I think the font size needs to go down just a little bit to match. I do font size 11, that looks great. And the font style actually, the font uh, family actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it as Helvetica, but you can go through um, and try different fonts and see which one looks great. Like this one looks good as well. If we bumped it up, that one matches really well. So again, we can keep it as that, but I'd go through and uh, play around with some of the fonts to try to match them to your site. All right, so our next step is to customize the settings of this form before we grab the embed code. So let's just hit next up in the top right. And it's gonna ask us a few questions before it gives us our code. So the first question is, should we double opt-in? Now, double opt-in just means that uh, when someone subscribes, Flowdesk is gonna send them an email to the email address that they put in saying, um, please click this button to officially subscribe. Um, now there's pros and cons to double opt-in. Um, you know, pro being that you get more qualified subscribers, a con being that it just hasn't it causes another step that the subscriber has to take to actually subscribe um, so i'm going to leave that option up to you for this example i'm just going to leave it on no let's hit continue the second question when subscribers opt into this form do you want to be notified or not 
Um, if you know that you're going to get a ton of opt-ins, maybe do not notify me is the best option for you just so you don't get hundreds or even thousands of emails um, from Flowdesk. Uh, notify me if it's something that you know is still really new and exciting to you and you want to get an idea of how many people are opting um, in per day, this is a great option. So for this, again, we're just going to leave notify me on. It's up to you on what you choose. And the last question is after this form is submitted, display success message or redirect to our URL. So we're going to go over this a little bit later as well. If you display a success message, it's going to display like, thank you for subscribing. Um, you can have a custom one as well. Let me go actually show you where that's at. So if we click the design tab again um, and we click just somewhere in the background, you'll see this message tab right here. If we click on that, this is the message that's going to come up when someone subscribes if they're not redirected. So there's a standard, there's minimal, friendly, casual, and direct. And then lastly, there's custom. You can go in here and type your own custom success message. So we're gonna leave it on standard, um, but we're also gonna show you how to redirect as well. So let's go back to customize, go to that last one. You click on redirect to a URL. Now this is where you can enter a URL that people will be redirected to once they opt in. Now you have to be a little bit careful about this because for example, on this uh, canvas, this is on our home page. So when someone opts in, you have to think about do you want them to be redirected from your home page to let's say a page like this, form submitted looks very beautiful, but that might not be the best user experience because then they have to go back to the homepage if they weren't done exploring your homepage. Now a landing page that is like, hey, opt in to my freebie, kind of like this freebie page here where it's only, the only thing people can do on this page is opt in. Now that's another, that's a great example of when you can redirect someone to form submitted. So just think about if you want to redirect someone or if you want them to stay on the same page and a little success message pops up. For this example, because it's going to stay on the home page, we're going to keep this on display success message um, where it just says thank you for subscribing. Now let's hit continue. And now we are ready to embed the form into show it because we have our form code. So let's take a look at how to do that. To add our Flowdesk opt-in form to our show at website, we need to copy both of these codes and add them to an embed code box. So let's take a look at how to do that. First, let's copy the header code, and then we're gonna jump back over to show it. Here's the section that we're gonna be adding this form. So the first thing we need to do is add the embed code box. So if you hover over this little options um, button here and show it and click on embed code, it's going to bring up a box that you can paste code into. Let's quickly just resize it to be something similar to the form above it. So we're just going to do it like that. We're going to double click inside of the code box and then paste that first header code. Now we're not done. We need to jump back over to Flowdesk and we're going to copy the inline code now. So let's hit copy, go back to show it, and then we're just going to hit return twice and then paste that code there. Let's hit save, and we should be able to see our form. Now you'll notice the form looks very different than what we just, um, what we just created here in Flowdesk, and that is because the embed code box isn't wide enough yet. So we need to stretch this out a little bit more, and there we go. So your, your, your embed code box may be a lot bigger than the actual form. Let me can scale it down a little bit here. You just have to find that little happy medium. So that's good. But the nice thing is we can still just drag this code box wherever we want. And we're just gonna line it up to where it looks very similar to what we have in the demo site here. So you can see this looks pretty similar. We've done a really good job at actually creating uh, an opt-in form in Flowdesk that looks exactly like the pre-designed one. So now we're ready to remove the uh, show it elements and replace it with this code box. So I'm just going to bring the code box down and I'm going to drag and select all of these elements. Oops, don't want to select this over here. So I'm going to do it individually. 
Perfect. And then let's just drag this back up. Now I'm holding shift while I click and drag and that's going to make sure that I don't go a little bit to the side or anything like that. Perfect. Just like that. Last but not least, let's double check the mobile because we'll definitely want to make sure that the mobile embed code box is lined up and looks great as well. So let's click on mobile. And here we go. Here is the form. You can see that it just added it right on top of the image. So we definitely want to move that. We're going to stretch it out. Bring it up and then bring this down just a little bit. Perfect, just like that. Now we have our Flowdesk opt-in form embedded into our show at website. Now, before we go and publish this, we do wanna make sure that it looks great before it goes live. So I always click on preview and then preview uh, the page that I've just added this form to. So let's go ahead and preview the home page. If we scroll down, we'll be able to see it here. Awesome, it looks really great. Now let's check it on mobile. You can literally pull this link into your mobile phone um, and pull that link up and see what it looks like. I'm just gonna do inspect and then look at it on my computer here. So if we scroll down, awesome. It looks great on mobile as well. So we're ready to go and set up our workflow. Let's take a look at how we can automatically send an email to the subscriber with the Flowdesk workflow. So let's click on the Flowdesk link up at the very top left, and then we're gonna click on the Workflows tab, and we're gonna click New Workflow. Now, Flowdesk has four different sequences that you can choose from, a Nurture, Welcome, Lead Magnet, and Sales sequence. For this example though, we're just gonna start from scratch. So let's hit Start from Scratch, and we need to create a new workflow name. Now, this workflow is going to be for the Steal My Launch Playbook. So we're going to say this is the Launch Playbook Download Workflow. So let's go ahead and click on Save. And the first thing that we need to do is um, add a trigger. So Launch Playbook Download begins when a subscriber is added to a segment. So you remember when we created the form, we created that segment called Launch Playbook. So let's go ahead and click on Launch Playbook. And now this means if someone opts in, they're going to be added to Launch Playbook. And if they're added to Launch Playbook, then this happens. So let's click on this. And what do we want to happen? We want to send them an email. And that email is going to contain the download link or the PDF or whatever it be, right? So let's go ahead and click on email. And this is where we're going to either duplicate an existing email, but because this account is new, we actually have to create one. Now I'm not gonna go and create an email uh, just for time's sake. Um, and Flowdesk has a ton of great resources on how to create beautiful emails and check it out. They have templates already created for you that you can just take um, and start adding your content into that as well. So this is one of those things where you'll have to then stop and think about what you want on your email, and then you can go and choose a design that best fits your content. All right, once you're done designing your email, the next step is to confirm the sender information, the subject line, and the preview text. Everything looks good. You're ready to launch this workflow. So let's go ahead and click publish in the top right, and then we'll hit publish now. And that is how you automatically send an email or a freebie via Flowdesk with an opt-in form on your show at website. I hope this has helped you out. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you. Have a great day.